Well, Grant, we've not really spoken much about League One football over the past four games. I think just one match, so nice to be getting back to the bread and butter. Yeah, definitely. Um, we need to go on a run in the league now. You know, we're, we're in good form, uh, feeling confident within the group. Uh, but we need to make sure we, we go on a run. Four huge games for us coming up in, in the league that, you know, before we can start talking about the Cups again. Um, and we, did, we need to take as many points as we can. Uh, maximum points would be excellent because I know we'd be on the, the shirt tails really of the, of the top two if we did. So we got to aim for the stars. We're going to try and win every game that we play in the league, these four games. And um, starting Saturday against Blackpool. Um, and, and we want to make sure we try and put on the, uh, another good performance. And especially taking the first half of those four games, two games at home as well, an impressive performance away from home in midweek, a, a chance to get back at home, get a couple of wins and, and get some goals. Because I know it's just one goal, I think, in the past few matches, isn't it? You've not, not scored more than two since, since Wigan. So a good chance to, to get back at home and, and impress the fans. Yeah, of course it is. I mean, we want to win, the, we want to win these two home games, first and foremost. I think that's seven wins from ten in the league, I think, I believe. So... Uh, you know that puts us in a good position that, that we're strong at home, and that's what we want to do. You know, if, uh, like I say to you, these are these are four games are, are huge for us. It's a it's a big, uh, big few weeks for us. Um, obviously, it's our main aim this season is, is to be challenging up towards the top end of the season and to try and get out of this league. So, number one focus is definitely for for us is, is the league. Um, you know, and Blackpool are the next team to come to, to the Ibex London Road, and we want to make sure that they. Um, go back to Blackpool with, with zero points, no disrespect to them. Um, we want to make sure we perform well, uh, you know, put on a, another good performance on the back of three or four, five decent performances in the last five games, but um, it'll be all be at the Tramier game at home. But, you know, we're, we're in good form, we're in a good run, um, the boys are confident, we're scoring goals, um, we, not, we need to make sure we take it into the league now. And Blackpool, of course, you know, would be here all day if we spoke about all the off-field problems going on there. They got promotion despite that last season. Bit of a, an inconsistent start to, to life in, um, in in League One. Had a good start, and they've they've, they've tailed off a bit mid-table. Yeah, I mean, they have had a good start. I mean, they just they only come up last year. I watched them in the playoff final against Tranmere. They look good, they're excellent. Um, you know, it's it, it's like any game in this league. It's never easy. Uh, they're always tough games. Every game you play is tough, and. Um, it's going to be another tough game, you know. But we need to make sure we we, we worry about us. Like I've always said, you know, we'll, we'll worry about ourselves. Um, we've got one or two um, struggling and wrapping in cotton wool a little bit. So um, it'll be a late call on the team. Um, so we, we need to make sure that everyone is good to go. The freshness is in, within the group. Um, it probably helped us a little bit that the Tranmere lost a man uh, and we're down to ten men. Albeit they had a 15-minute spell in the second half, but the game became a little bit easier because of that when we got the third goal and some of the boys probably could reserve a little bit of energy for the, for the weekend and one or two came off and, and, and you know towards the end so Jack uh, uh, Jack and, and Michael Doherty came off as well so just to try and rest their legs a little bit for the weekend so um, it's more important that we we're, we're fully focused on this this game now you know the, the cup games have gone um, the league is our bread and butter and we need to make sure we get ourselves back on our run in the league. Uh, Guion and, and Liam Shepherd are they two of those that are, as you say, uh, maybe touch and go? No, Guion's fit. Liam Shepherd's going to be out for about four to six weeks. We've had some bad news on Liam, so um, disappointed because he, he's been he's been very good. Liam, and he's been in the team. He's um, maybe struggled with a little bit of consistency, but some of the games he's played with us, he's been he's been excellent. So it's it's a bit of a it's a big miss for us really because it, it gives us less options in the in the defensive area, and especially in the right back area. So um, yeah. But frustrating for him, but I'm sure he'll be working hard with the physio to try and get back sooner than rather than later, really. And is that groin? Yeah, it's his groin, yeah. And it, we spoke earlier in the season about, in terms of a defensive point of view from crosses, but let's talk about it in an attacking point of view, because I think someone got in touch with me on Twitter earlier, Alan, saying of the past 12 goals, nine of them have been from, from set pieces. So uh, something you've, you've clearly been working on and it's paying off. Yeah, well, it was it was an area that we needed to improve on from last year, um, because we always talk about the the, the delivery we've got um, from Marcus, probably mainly Marcus when he when he takes set plays, and we weren't attacking him as well as we were last year. But it's something we've worked hard on. Um, we've got people who are brave. Uh, you th I think you've seen with the goals we've scored, people get on the end of if it's not the first ball, it's the second ball, um, and we're making good runs. You know, so it's it's pleasing aspect of our game that our set players are causing teams a lot of problems so um, long may continue.
And again, I know there was lots of headlines around Marcus last week for, for one reason. Let's focus on the positives. I think 21 games now this season for him, uh, nine assists, seven goals. You know, it's nothing new that we've, we've learned about Marcus Madison, but, but, but proves that he's such a valuable player. Yeah, he's, he, that's not, I wanted to dress it down a little bit the other day when, I kept, when, when you're, yourselves asked me about his, the incident, but it, it, it's, it's a fact that the boy knows how to set a goal up. He knows how to score a goal. He, he, he's dangerous. Really, really dangerous. You know, he's um, he's a pleasure to work with Marcus every day, and you see him even on the training ground. Some of the stuff he does is is scary, really. And I think the good thing about this year with Marcus is that he's got a group of players who understand him. Um, he didn't have that last year. He, he had probably three or four of the players in the changing room would want to put off their bad performances and blame it on Marcus because Marcus didn't work hard enough. Marcus didn't do this. Marcus didn't do that. But he affects games. And when you're when you're not performing, but you can affect the game, then you're a special player, and and that's what he is. So, um, you know, even even when you don't see him for 50, 60 minutes, some of our fans might think he's not working hard enough. All of a sudden, he can he can create a chance at an Athens or score something, um, and that's the, one of the problems we had last year. Well, I had as a manager within the group that there was a lot of blame games and there was a lot of you know wanting to blame Marcus Madison for everything. But I mean, you've seen his stats last year, so. Uh, very, very surprising. But this group of of bought in the Marcus, they love him. Um, they he loves them. He knows that uh, the group are fully behind him. Um, we're fully behind him. Um, we just need all of our fans fully behind him. I know there's probably a four or five or whatever, maybe a bit more that that can't stand him. But he takes it on the chin. He gets on with it every day. He just wants to he, he just wants to win, and he just wants to keep proving people wrong. And someone else who's really loving life in a Peterborough United shirt at the moment, Danny Lloyd. Of course, that hat-trick following up from his first league goal. I know we've spoken about Jack Marriott's great start and having more people supporting him by chipping in with goals. And, and Danny's certainly <coughs> done that over the past week. Well, I think it's definitely important that we, we chip in from other areas, areas of the pitch. I mean, we've spoke about the set plays. Um, you know, Jack scored the other night. We, we could do with some more goals from the centre-halves, Tails, Taff, Husey, people like that, um, because they are... Uh, big aggressive brave bodies in, in, in any penalty area um, and but we also need it from definitely from more from more sources and, and I'm pleased Danny's stood up to the, stood up to the task he's, he's he's on a crest of a wave at the minute Danny you know he's I think it's five goals and three or four starts for us really um, and we knew we knew he can score goals that's the reason why we brought him here because he scores goals and, he, and he's busy and he's bright and he's he gets at people he doesn't give you a minute's peace um, and it's possibly something we've missed since we've since Junior's picked up his injury. So um, he, he's been he's been brilliant for us. And but also not only that, we we need to add goals for more from Leo, more from Guion, uh, Michael Dowdy, Anthony Grant. You know, maybe stepping up the plate and getting an odd goal here and there. So it's as much as they do brilliantly for us in, in a defensive sense. And Michael and Grant, I've, I've spoken to the two of them about you know having the license to to go and I think you've seen it in the last few games where they're both been breaking a bit more from midfield and, and showing that tenacity to get forward so um, yeah definitely if, we, if we're going to challenge this year we need goals coming from, from everywhere but also having a couple of centre forwards that can knock them in re regularly as well will, will definitely help us.